What's up YouTube, it's Juno bringing you another great video. And before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, right here, the subscribe button right here, click on that. And once you click on that, you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here, enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with. As well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms. Want to stay protected while streaming or downloading anything online or just protecting all your information? My suggestion, go and get a VPN and the best one out there right now is IP Vanish. I will leave a link in my description box so you can go ahead and sign up for this great IP service available now. Alright guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show the channel. Remember to support the channel. Go ahead and like all my videos. Um, share all my videos comment on all my videos and if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe and enable bell notification because that helps the channel so many different ways and guess what it's free so it doesn't it takes you nothing but less than 30 seconds to do all all four items if you have three if you, if you already subscribe but if you if you have, if you have to do all four it doesn't take you less than 30 seconds just click 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 comment and done and so that is a great way to support the channel guys but if you want to support just a little bit more you go check out those links below you see the paypal and the cash app just go ahead and click on those and make a donation to the channel remember the donations are always welcome always appreciated but they're, they're never required or requested all right simple as that i'm gonna leave it like that I keep it simple you know how it is you know all right so let's get started with this video because i know you see the title how to fix the capture card error when you're hooking up a fire device or an android device is not being recorded being able to capture on your device. All right, so this is an issue that I ran into a bunch of times and then I had to keep doing research until I figure out a solution. And the issue I ran is, is I have two Nvidia Shields in my room. One is hooked up to my TV and one's hooked up to my computer. The one on the computer doesn't want to capture correctly on my device, but the one on my TV, I hook it up to my device on my computer, it hooks up perfectly fine, no error, no issues. I'm like, all right, maybe something with the settings and the of the shield, and nothing works. I can't figure it out. All right, so I was like, and as you guys know, I've been messing around with the Fire Stick too. So I was like, oh, let me start using the Fire Stick to do more demonstrations. I hook up the Fire Sticks into the computer to my capture card. You see it pop up. So if, let's say if I go ahead and hook it up right now, you're into this show. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna hook it up right now. Hold on. I hooked it up. You see the signal just went out. And I was gonna show up the fire tip. So he's like, oh, it's working, great, perfect. After that sign disappears, that's all that happens. Nothing comes up. And people run into that issue all the time. And I, I couldn't figure out, I figured it was the settings on this. It wasn't matching the settings on my capture card. I tried to mess with the capture card setting. Nothing was working. But the problem with it is with these devices, they have some protection on there. So you can't record any like movies or anything like that. Like, like the DVDs had that protection on there. So it blocks it from using your capture card. You're like, okay, so how can I record? How are all these people recording the device? Some people are able to use it through other ways, but the way I'm using it now, it's a simple solution. A lot of people use, they, they actually cast the picture off the device onto the computer screen. But the problem with that is there's lag in there and, I, and it's a problem. So what I found out works to take off that protection you can record it's just get a splitter. I use this one, it's a View HD, it's a very popular splitter, and this one works great. I haven't tried other splitters. I tried one that doesn't require power, that's just a straight splitter, and it wasn't working. So this one, something inside, built in inside the chip, converts it and not, it doesn't block, it blocks the protection from being on there. Don't know what it is, simple. So I use this. View HD, uh, it's a, the model number is VHD 1X2 MN 3D. It's a very popular, it's not expensive, it's only 20 bucks. You can find it at Amazon. I will leave a link in the description so you can buy if you're interested in getting this. It's very simple. On this side right here, you get the two outputs. So two outputs for one for your computer and one for your TV if you want to do it that way. And then you got the input here. This is where you plug in your fire stick so you take the fire stick hook it up right here 
and that, and then you hook it up to your, you get a HDMI cable, hook it up here, and connect it to your to your capture card. Not the output. Sorry about that. And then all you gotta do is connect the power plug here. So let me go ahead and get that set up, and you'll see it work. All right. One second. All right, guys. So we're back here. So okay. So I went and hooked up the Fire Stick to the device and on the input. And you see that the power goes right there, and I hook up the USB right here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the power now so you guys can see how it looks. It's the, my power button, my power wire doesn't go as high as it should, so I have to do it this way, so I have to put it down. So let me hook, let me grab the power wire real quick and hook it up. All right, you see it boot up right there. You see the fire device TV popped up just like it did before. And then once it disappears, you guys, before it just stayed black, never go. And there we go. See, it fixed it, guys. Now it's working perfectly. Now you can capture your fire stick on any device by just a little simple fix. And it's gonna cost a little bit, a couple of dollars, but hey, at the end, it all works out. Guys, you see it boots up perfectly. Well, wait for the screen to boot up. There you go. Before we even get this far, we waited this long and it still gave me a black screen. So that is a simple fix to, to fix the capture device from reading your fire stick or any Android TV boxes. All right, really that's all I got to show you. Remember, I'll leave the link to the box below so you can get the splitter. Very easy, just hook it up. And make sure when you put it in, you put the connect the fire stick, you put it on the input side for the fire stick, output goes to your capture device, your capture card, all right? Because I did try this with all multiple capture cards. I did this with a Maxwell capture card, which is the, my one of my favorite capture cards. I even hooked it up to my um, Black Magic capture card, the, the Intensity Pro, and the regular capture card that plugs into the computer, the PCI one, didn't work. And I even tried the Elgato one. Nothing worked at all. So I, I guess I got a lot of capture device, guys. So. By using the splitter, it works perfect. It takes away the protection. As you can see, it shows you the screen. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys are always showing the channel. And also, don't forget to share this video so because everybody's aware of this, so they know what's going on, and they're able to fix their problems if they run into this issue. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and enable bell notification. And if you have any other questions or comments, put them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. And also, if you guys want to support the channel just a little bit more, make sure you check out those PayPal and Cash App links down below. And remember, it's always appreciated, but never required. And until next time, guys, this is Juniper.